Hello guys! So to start off this look, I am using my face made jade roller and I usually use this before a night out or when I'm getting ready for costumes, especially because I did this in the morning to kind of reduce puffiness, though that is really important and it massages the skin and also you need to massage your neck. So don't neglect your neck. I usually keep my face rollers in the freezer, that way it really reduces the morning puffiness and yeah it just makes sure that everything looks less puffy i also have the guaja i think that's how you say it but it is like a large stone i'm going to show you here in a bit and you can massage your cheekbones and your around the eyes and in your chest to reduce tension also but the cool thing about the stone thing, I know it's it's called like a gua sha. It's very strange. I don't know how to say it, but it helps promote lymph and blood circulation. So that will reduce your dark circles. So I just wanted to show you guys what I do before I get on with my routine. Of course, that will be linked down below. But anyways, moving on, I use my Neutrogena Healthy Skin Foundation because what I love about this foundation is it still has a nice soft sheen touch to it. It looks like skin and Jennifer Garner really wasn't having a full matte face of makeup. I need makeup just because I do so I need to make sure that I cover some of those areas but yeah I just like the whole natural finish she had it was looked more like skin so yeah that is why I chose the Neutrogena healthy skin foundation I love this look because it, it, everyone will know what you are and it's perfect for Halloween or just if you want to wear it um, oh I'm also using the Neutrogena concealer as well I didn't realize that I was using two Neutrogena products in a row but it makes my skin look nice and glowy like hers and she has a lot of great looks in this movie but obviously this is the most iconic one and that people will recognize people will probably just be thinking you're wearing normal clothes so that's why i didn't include that one and this one's a lot more fun and vibrant so yeah i am just making sure that i'm covering my dark circles usually you guys when i film these beauty looks i'm doing these at six in the morning as i'm doing them right before i get to work so i am always tired when doing these so now i'm using the air spun powder and i am just going this is just going to set everything in place i still bake to this day i can't live without it i just love making sure that places are just I don't know how to explain it, but just everything is just set in place perfectly because I do crease a lot and we're going to be using colorful eyeshadows. So I want to make sure that there is no fallout. And now I'm not following her brow routine or anything. So I am just going to do my eyebrows how I typically do them. You can follow your own step. I just take my Wet n Wild brow pencil and then I use some eyeshadow that matches my hair color and I fill it in and I also take like a clear brow gel as well to kind of go over that now I am using this revolution Aladdin palette I know it has nothing to do with 13 going on 30 but I, the colors in here go perfectly with what I'm doing so I start off with the shade called Gazim and I'm just going to kind of set my eyes because I do kind of have darker pigmented eyes then I am taking the totally cosmic blush that is in the palette and there's also this other blush called diamond in the rough and I mix those two together this is such a cool palette if I had n not done my jasmine look I would have used this palette but I've already done a jasmine look, so I am using it for this tutorial. Now I am taking the shade called Agrabah and I am placing that over that because I, I did post some up close pictures of her that are actually kind of funny that show the colors. Then I am going to use a color called Jasmine and this is going to be the soft blue eyeshadow that she has. I think it's funny because she's trying to recreate something from the 80s but I feel like this look is 80s with the makeup, but when it comes to the hair, it's definitely like late 90s, early 2000s, because this movie does take place, I think, in 2003. So the 2000s look was still going on. So I just thought that was a little funny because I don't know. I didn't think the hair was that 80s, but that could just be my opinion. I don't know. I didn't live through the 80s. 
Now I'm just taking some black eyeliner and running it on the upper lash line. This is the picture I used for reference. It's not a very good one, but I could see the eyeshadow a little bit more. And she's using eyeliner, so that helped. Then I'm taking the shade called Razul. I think that's how you say it. And I'm just kind of blending that eyeliner or kind of smudging it just to give it kind of a natural look. I thought this was very pretty. I actually wore this makeup to work and I got a lot of compliments from people, so yeah. Now I'm just curling my lashes and placing my Grande Cosmetic Mascara on, my Grande Lash Mascara. I love this mascara because it makes your eyelashes look really long, but I didn't want to overdo it because like I said, she isn't wearing too much makeup. So I just wanted to make sure that everything just looked good together. And I'm adding a little bit on my lower lashes as well. Just still adding mascara. I didn't think that I had so many clips of me putting mascara on. I usually like to skip this part because I don't think people find this very fun to watch. Anyways, I think we're gonna move on to the face now. Yes, and I'm using the shade called Totally Cosmic again. And I am just putting this, this is like a, um, a blush that has like specks of glitter in it. So I don't need highlight. And th that is very popular in the 80s, shiny blush and a lot of blush. So I put a lot of blush on because she had a lot of blush on. Now for the lips, I'm taking this. This is from Catkin Cosmetics. It's just a hot pink lipstick. It's a little too hot pink. So I kind of tone it down by adding a gloss because this it almost looks red. So just take like a more pink based hot pink lipstick, you guys. You will see me like mixing a lip gloss in there to help fix it. Now I use this Merlot lip gloss and I also use this one by Lancome called Pink Gravity to mix those two lip glosses together and that's what created this look. So now for the hair. The hair is super easy and I'm gonna show you guys why. So it's kind of like a waterfall hair look which I find hard to do with thin hair and I have a thinner ponytail than most people well, not most people like i know that there's some people that have thin hair but i don't have super super thick hair so i'm gonna use something to help me out here because i find it hard for my waterfall hairstyles to really stand out especially like the way hers did so what i'm doing is, is i'm just tying all my hair back into a really tight bun and this is just the, the easy part you guys if you want to invest in something like this and I know that I'm really glad I bought this because this is going to be great for the future for me. And I'm just using this hair piece right here. It's from Amazon and it's like a waterfall hair piece. And all I'm going to do is just tie it on my bun and my hair is like perfect. And I didn't have to spend too much time on it. I didn't have to tease my hair. I didn't have to destroy my hair. I'm on a journey to really replenish my hair. So I, I bought this. It was only 10 bucks on Amazon. And then I'm going to put a little bit of beads in my hair to kind of match hers. I didn't have the exact same colors that she did. And I didn't have the earrings either, so please don't hate on me. But I think I did pretty good with the dress and the makeup and hair. But this is like the easiest like recreation look ever. I loved it, I had so much fun. Everyone's gonna know what you are if you do wear this for Halloween. If you just wanna wear this to be, just to wear it, then I don't blame you. I got this dress off Yes Style. I'll link it down below. I saw it on there, I was like, oh my God, and I added it to my cart and bought it. I just needed it, because I wanted to do this look for you guys. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this Jenna Rink tutorial and see me being cringy for like two seconds. Okay, see you later, bye.